Okay, this is kind of a fire hazard to have the carpet right there, but whatever. We need to add a fire extinguisher. We're gonna leave it right here since we know this carpet is about to catch on fire. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Someone suggested that I build a Thanksgiving turkey house. I know not everyone celebrates Thanksgiving, but I still thought it would be really fun. So let's get into it. Okay, this is gonna sound dumb, but what does a turkey even look like? Okay, I'm gonna try to base it off of the turkey food item and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so far so good. This is actually pretty good so far. Okay, I painted these things white to look like the drumsticks. Now I just need to figure out a roof. This is actually looking pretty good. It needs to be on a plate though. Okay, now I want to add some plants to look like vegetables on the plate. First though, I gotta figure out the door situation. I might use one of these secret doors to blend in on the outside, but then decorate it on the inside. Now you can't tell they're there, that's so cool. I think I can make use of the different bushes to look like the vegetables on the plate. Yeah, look at that, it looks pretty good. I just spent a really long time placing those. <laughs> I think I'm gonna outline the plate just slightly bigger, and I'm gonna use some carpets to make our walkways look like they still have plants on it. Yeah, that looks so much better. I think we can start work on the inside now. Luckily, since there's no windows, we can kind of reshape the inside. I think this shape is a little bit easier to do a house in. You can use structural items to make these doors look a little better. Okay, that took kind of a long time, but we have doors. Okay, this is like the color scheme I'm gonna go for. It's a lot of brown because I think that reminds me of Thanksgiving. Kind of an autumn color scheme. Okay, I've kind of designed a layout. So when you first walk in, I want there to be like a big dining table. We'll put a turkey on it, of course. And then back here will be like a kitchen and living area, a bathroom and a bedroom. Of course, I left some empty spaces because it's really hard to work with the weird angles this house has. What is this, like, ghost shadow up here? Bloxburg Haunted confirmed. We need a carpet for the table to be set on. Rescale it a bit. Now we need to figure out a dining table setup. I love the elegant dining table, and I think I can combine them to make a pretty big one. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I want to put a chandelier over it, too. Something traditional like this. It's still a little bit dark, but we'll work on it. We, of course, need some good dining chairs. I think these ones look nice. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Luckily, we can place them a little more freely now. Very fancy. Now we need some table decorations, like a table runner. We can put a cake stand in the middle to have the turkey on. And we'll put some shorter ones for some side dishes. I want to have some candles on the table. Actually, I changed my mind with these cake stands on the outside because I forgot there's a leaf tray now. Is that what it's called? Yeah, metal leaf tray. I think this would look great to put side dishes on. That's looking better. I'm gonna set the table. I love these rolled up napkins too. Yeah, I really like how this is turning out. Let me fix these weird poking through things. Okay, there may be a strange pattern on the ceiling, but it's better than that weird poking through roof. I think some curtains might look good on this frame. I'm placing these console tables so that we can have a drinks table and a dessert table. Okay, and then we need some more decorations on the wall. Why are walls so hard to decorate? Ooh, we can add some pumpkins too. Luckily, I have some in my inventory because they did get taken out of the game. We need a cornucopia, isn't that like important for Thanksgiving? Okay, I think that's a pretty good start for the dining room, let's move on. We're just gonna continue this color scheme throughout the house because I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, I want the kitchen to be on this side. I might just use the shaker counters because I think they look good. Actually, I think the arch counters will match better. Okay, it's starting to get there. Oh, we need a trash can. Okay, and this side I've dedicated for like the living room. Ooh, I want to add a fireplace. Okay, this is kind of a fire hazard to have the carpet right there, but whatever. It'll be fine, okay? Should I make my own sectional with the new update items? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Of course, we need some custom pillows. I love that we can use our own now. Ooh, and I can have one of these blankets on the edge of the couch. Wait, these are hard to place. 
Oh, there we go. It's so cool that you can place things on the couches. I'll put a shelf in this corner. We need to add a fire extinguisher. We're gonna leave it right here since we know this carpet is about to catch on fire. Okay, I think the living area looks pretty good. It does look a little bit empty in here, but I think it's partially because of the way it's set up. Maybe I can add like a small island for the kitchen. Okay, I like this better. I forgot to actually put appliances in the kitchen, like a toaster and blender and stuff. We probably need like every single appliance. We'll even have a fryer. Okay, the kitchen looks a little bit more complete now. Now let's move on to the bathroom. This should be pretty interesting to use the new items. Every bathroom I build looks exactly the same. We can use one of these new shower tub combos. They fit so perfectly, I love them. And then we can have like a counter sink over here. I don't do that very often. We need soap so that you can wash your hands. It would be nice if you can place towel racks on the walls of the shower. I guess you have to place the towels first. There we go. Oh, we need a toilet too. Oh, we need a toothbrush holder. Okay, I think the bathroom looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the bedroom. I'm excited to use the new pillows and blankets. I think I'm actually gonna make a closet. Okay, we need some clothing racks in the closet. Okay, there's a bunch of random stuff in the closet. Now let's pick out a bed. This one looks nice. Some of the beds do this like weird texture thing with the pillows, but now you can finally fix it. Okay, I like the trimmed rectangular pillow, but I wanna make it bigger. Maybe not that big. And now it matches without looking weird. And I can place a few additional ones too. And using the transform tool, we can make them look even better. Okay, arranging pillows is actually kind of hard. <laughs> I think this looks okay though. Now you can use this like messy blanket thing to make it look like the folded over part. We'll just make it a little bit smaller. But look at that, it looks so nice. Alright, looking good. We need some decorations on the walls though. We'll just have a small TV in here. And of course we need a plant. Okay, I'm gonna work on some finishing touches and then it's tour time. Okay, welcome to my Thanksgiving turkey house. I don't know why there's this like ghost shadow right here. There's nothing up here. The game's been having a lot of lighting glitches recently, but it's okay. Anyways, the inspiration for this was the actual turkey food item and I think I did a pretty good job replicating it as a house. Now there's these two walkways between the plants that lead to some hidden doors. And when you head inside, you'll find yourself in the dining room. As you can tell, we're serving turkey, although I don't know why the turkey has so many legs. Usually there's only two legs on a turkey, right? But somehow all ten of us are eating a turkey leg. Pretty mysterious, huh? Anyways, there's some nice fall-themed decor on the walls. And on the back, we have a drinks table and a dessert table. And for the dessert table, of course, we just have a bunch of different pies because that's what Thanksgiving is, right? And yeah, here's another angle that shows like the entryway. There are two front doors. <laughs> and that's how the dining room turned out. And if through here, we'll find ourselves in the kitchen. There's a nice island in the middle with lots of counter space to prepare food. We have literally every appliance you could ever need to cook something. It's pretty spacious so that you can cook a lot of items at once. And on the other side of the room, we have our living room. There's a fireplace with a carpet right next to it because we love fire hazards. But don't worry, we have a fire extinguisher in the corner there. Other than that though, we have a custom built sectional using the new update items. With some fun pillows and blankets on the couch. And yeah, that's about it for the living room, it's pretty simple. If we head through this door, we'll find ourselves in the bathroom. I love the new tub and shower combos. For so many years, we've had to use build hacks to pull one of these off, and now it's so simple. Other than that though, we have our toilet with some shelves for storage above it, and our sink area, which also has a huge mirror so that you can get ready. Lastly, through this other door, we'll find ourselves in the bedroom. The bed looks pretty nice thanks to the new update items. There's also some storage on the walls and a nice TV. And lastly, we have a closet. If we open it up, it's just clothing and some random things stored up there. And yeah, look how comfortable this bed looks. I also love the new rest feature so that you don't have to sleep, but you can still lay in bed. That's about it for my Thanksgiving turkey house, though. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, as well as any other ideas you have. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that I'm thankful for you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. That's it for me, though. I'll see you next time.